Welcome back everyone, I hope you're doing great as always. Today I'm going to help you guys learn how you can participate in the ICP crowdfunding across the Delta app. Now, I know I'm supposed to be talking about what is the ICP crowdfunding, why is it happening. However, a lot of people have demanded me to make a dedicated video on how to participate in the ICP crowdfunding. In the near future, I'll make a dedicated video talking exclusively about the ICP crowdfunding funding for now let's talk about how you can participate in it all right so for starters you're going to head over to the menu in the menu you're going to tap wallet as soon as you'll do that now you can see your wallet address on top on the right of this line you can see the activation button you're going to have to tap that in order to activate your wallet and as soon as you'll do that you can see the list of currency options that can be managed with the delta multi-chain wallet they have been activated in my case i'll be making a deposit in icp so i'll head over to the icp section by tapping this button and here i'll tap the deposit button and the chain network you can see delta kim right now which is currently not functional but it will be in future for now you're going to hit the drop down button right here and down over here you need to tap internet computer as soon as you'll do that you'll see the option apply for temporary deposit address you're going to have to tap that and what this will do is it will create a temporary deposit address on the icp chain network now this temporary icp deposit address is directly linked with your delta multi-chain wallet however it's only valid for 12 hours although you can extend its validity within six hours before the address expires the reason these addresses are temporary is because there are overhead costs associated with running these addresses on the delta network all right for now your task with the delta app is temporarily done now you will head over to any of the wallets that can be based across any centralized exchange like Binance, Mexi, Pionex, Bitmart, etc. In my case, I'll just proceed with the Mexi exchange because that's where my wallet is. Now I'll head over to the spot account where I already hold ICP tokens. In case you don't hold the same, what you're going to do is you're going to hit trade. By the way, this UI is pretty much the same across every exchange. So whatever I'm doing with Mexi, you can do the same on Binance. Finance, you can do the same on Bitmart, it will work the same way. So you'll hit tray and on top you can say spot. You must select spot in order to buy ICP and then send it over to the temporary deposit address that you created on Delta. Now on top you'll hit on the currency pair that you see and in here you will search ICP. Now you'll select it and now down over here you need to buy ICP. Now it's totally on you how much ICP you intend to buy. I request you not to buy an amount that you can't afford to let go of. I see so many people buying exorbitant amounts of ICP and then later on wine in different groups. Hey, I put in more than I can afford to lose. The Delta coin better start with $5, $10. <laughs> You see, that's no way to participate in the crowdfunding and help the project. Invest responsibly. Anyway, I'm assuming you bought the ICP from here. Now you'll head over to the spot account. In the spot account, you'll first of all select ICP. And as you can see, I already hold 1.03 ICP. You're going to tap withdraw. And here you need to ignore the Wrong. second option. You need to go with the on-chain withdrawal. This is what you need in order to transfer your asset from this wallet to pretty much every other wallet out there. So you'll tap on on-chain withdrawal. Now this interface will open up. On top you can see the withdrawal address. In here you basically need to paste the temporary ICP deposit address that you generated on your Delta app. App. Copy that, paste it here, now you'll enter the withdrawal quantity, in my case I want to withdraw the entire amount which is 1.03, alright, down over here you can see the network fee is 0 0.0003 ICP, it can be different across different exchanges so you need to take that into consideration, once you've taken note of everything and you're good to go ahead, now you're going to hit confirm and now you'll hit confirm withdrawal, in my case I need to do verification with the email as well as the contact number. I'll do that and as soon as I'll do that I'll get this pop-up that the transaction is underway by my experience it should not take more than two or three minutes for the ICP to be transferred to your temporary ICP deposit address 
a few moments later. As you can see, the transaction has been completed on the Mexi site. Now I'll go back to the Delta app and I'll refresh to see if the transaction has actually been finalized. And as you can see, my wallet balance has been updated to 2.0297. So basically I got my ICP from Mexi. Now I'll go back, I'll tap D app. And then I'll tap ICP crowdfunding and in here I'll tap fundraise. And there is one more thing that you need to take into consideration. That is the minimum amount with which you can participate in the ICP crowdfunding is one ICP. However, your wallet needs to have slight little bit more than one ICP. It can be 1.01 or 1.001 ICP. The reason being there's a transfer fee associated with participation. As you can see, it is 0.0001. So always ensure that when you're transferring ICP from other exchanges to your Delta wallet, you're transferring an amount that is slightly more than one on ICP. Otherwise, you will get an error that says insufficient balance. In here, as you can see, your wallet balance is 2.0297. I'm only going to make a transaction for one ICP for the moment. Exchange reward amount for 1890DC. I'll hit submit. And as you can see, I have successfully received 489DDCT, which is a Delta credit. So this is pretty much how you can participate in the ICP crowdfunding. Now, suppose you have transferred an excessive amount and now you want to send it back to your Maxi wallet. You're going to head over to menu again. You're going to tap wallet. Here you need to activate your wallet address again. So you will tap on the button and now you'll visit the ICP section. Here you can see I still have 1.0296 ICP. In order to send this amount back to the Maxi wallet, I'll tap transfer. And here I'll need to change the chain network to internet computer. Now I'll go back to Mexi because I need to have the receiving address from Mexi in order to get my ICP tokens on the Mexi wallet. You need to visit home and then you need to tap more. This process is the same across all exchanges. In here I'll hit deposit and at the top I'll search for ICP. As you can see, this is my internet computer deposit address linked with my Mexi account. So I'll copy this. Now I'll go back here and I'll paste the address here, ensuring there is no typo. And now I'm going to transfer the amount back to my Mexi deposit address. So this is pretty much it. You need to confirm the amount. Okay, and you also need to take into consideration that there's a transfer fee, 0.0001. So you need to reduce the amount, taking into consideration the network fee. And now, now I'm going to tap transfer out. And as you can see, the execution is successful. You see the transfer has been initiated from here. And this is the transaction ID that you can take a look at in order to know what is the status of your transaction. I'll go back and now I received a notification from Mixi that hey, you have a deposit that has been credited successfully, which basically confirms that the transaction is done successfully. As you can see, 1.028 ICP has been transferred from the Delta wallet back to Mexi. So this thing works pretty much the same across all exchanges. Try this thing out. I've tried it with Binance as well. It works seamlessly. So this is pretty much it with regards to how you can participate in the ICB crowdfunding. If you got any queries with regards to the ICB crowdfunding or any other module out there associated with Delta, please drop the same in the comments and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. In the meantime, I also invite you to join the Delta's official Discord server. The link is in the description as well as you can visit the same via the website. So this is pretty much it. In the next video, I would like to talk about the flea marketplace a little bit or I would talk about the ICB crowdfunding. Until then, take care. Good Bye and happy mining.